Hello, and welcome back to this Metropolis series. I still haven't figured out what we're calling this. I'm thinking I might do just like a name, like name the video based on the episode. What happens in the episode will just be a catchy name, but I don't know. I'm still workshopping it. Looking to make a strong recovery after yesterday's, uh, disaster. If you, uh, if you didn't see yesterday's episode, uh, yeah, it was just 40 minutes of me losing. Starting off by ruining my economy isn't going to be a great move, I don't think. We'll see. We'll see how this one works out, I guess. Gonna throw down a unit at either side. You got the extra population. Playing the general today. I'm uh, continuing on the cycle through all the characters' plan. And yeah, here we go. Got the coast on this one. Really, just not a very good start here. Not not like a bad start in terms of anything else. It's a bad start in terms of the fact that I played house first and then just keep ruining my own economy. As the general, how do I feel? Eh. You know. He's not he's not my favorite guy. I think he's very strong, for sure. His hero power is very good, but he's not my favorite character. I think my favorite character now is the Navigator, actually. The Navigator is really cool. I have this tendency, I don't know if it's just that I love new characters, but I have the same thing in Slate the Spire, where up until like I didn't, my favorite character kind of shifted and they released the Watcher, and now, oh, favorite character? Easy, the Watcher. Yeah, it's an easy question. This is an interesting one. Herb versus Fruit, do I think that the 40% heal is going to be worth the 90 gold difference. The 40% heal? No. I mean, I don't think so. How many units would have to be saved? Right now I would need three characters, three militia that would have died need to survive for that to be worth. I don't think so. Ooh, maybe I'm wrong though. I just, I think that fruit is good. Especially as the general, since we have the higher starting population, it's not going to be so difficult. Pick the houses. The main reason I didn't pick fruit there, though, is because... Or the main reason I didn't pick herb there over fruit is because... You need to be saving three units with every single usage of herb, which is not very plausible. Let me try slingers. I'm gonna try doing a- I'm gonna try replacing guards with slingers. I've talked about it in the guide videos, I've talked about it maybe here, I don't know. We're pretty- pretty early on, so I can't just assume that I've talked about everything yet, but eventually we're gonna reach a point in this series where I've talked about every card ad nauseum, and I'm just rehashing the same card opinions. However, I don't like slingers that much because I think their attack speed is too low in comparison to guards. However, I'm going to give them their chance, especially against spitters. Slingers are significantly better than guards for the main reason of a two reasons. They have a longer range so they can start getting their damage out sooner and they take two hits from these guys instead of one. So yeah, I think that especially if you're fighting these guys, it's probably better to pick Slinger because that would have been a dead guard. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to take either. Of, I'm never ever going to take three cheese there. Last episode we tried patrol. Uh, this episode I will not be trying patrol anymore. I, like I said, I think that patrol is maybe okay if you have an economy for it. But it's it's weird. I think that it has application for sure. It's hard to look at that card and not see a way to do something silly with it. However, you want to pick it up early and picking it up early is going to hamstring your economy. So. I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip it for the time being, and then down the line, if I see the op the opportunity, I'll grab it. If I see a, a run where I go, oh, I could probably support having this card here. Give it a try. Yeah, today, this is being recorded in the afternoon. I'm gonna try and make it a habit of telling you when I'm recording things, just so, I don't know, you know. 
if I ever sit down and record a big backlog, I'll be sure to let you know so you don't leave me any important comments that I can never reply to due to the fact that, uh, I mean, I'll reply to them, but it'll be like a week after recording. Butterflies are so hard to click. Oh, shield rat. All right, so slinger and shield rat. Great news. I just need to remove some cards now and then we're cruising. This, this deck has bad economy, so it might be right to just rush out the walls. Get that lose all gold event out of the way and be able to rebuild quickly. I really don't think that Summon Pit is very good. Plaza and House are both really good to consider. Restaurant's not worth considering. Even though in theory you only need Restaurant to pay out two times for it to pay for itself. It's weird, I'd have to do a little more math than that. Uh, in this case I'm going to take Plaza. I know it's a different pick, but that's kind of that's what we're doing. I'm making different decisions. As any other character, I definitely would have never picked Plaza there, except for maybe the Navigator. I might have chosen Plaza there. Invite. I want to take Invite. Yeah, I'm going to take Invite. And I'm also going to grab the Shoe Market. Great shop. Lots of good stuff here. There is a Steel as well, but like I said in the previous videos, I'm going to not do Steel every single game, because I think that'll get very boring very fast. This, man, this is really strong. If you have if you have money, this is great. I really like this card. Now you can hear the new music. I don't remember what map we were on when I was talking about the new music, though. But this map, all of the all of the maps have, I believe, new music, or maybe I'm just insane. But I think that they all have new music, and it's great. I feel like I typically notice music in video games like this, and I point out, like, oh, this is some good shit. But I never remember noticing and pointing out the music that we heard in the last episode, or two episodes ago now, that you didn't hear due to the fact that I uh, had my sound messed up. I don't know, maybe it's been there the whole time. Let me know if you... If you, if you heard me go, oh, no music. This is the same music, feel free. Tell me. So, I could just be extremely incorrect. And this is probably my least favorite boss enemy to face, because you just gotta watch your melee dudes go, hmm, is there an enemy out there? I don't know. I didn't put my glasses on today, so I can only see one foot in front of me. I can't really tell if there's anything out there. Robin Hood? Nah. Longbow right here is definitely wrong. Can take card upgrade? I assume this gives you two population. This is this is insane. As long as you- the main thing that you need with this is card draw, and then this is really insane. Might be right just to upgrade shield rat, settle ourselves in uh, on a strong frontline unit for the rest of the game. The problem is I tend to like to upgrade economy cards, but there's nothing good to upgrade here. Like you can say maybe fruit, but no, I'm gonna go up for shield rat. Fruit's not the long-term plan. I don't know if I've been offered enough card removal yet. I, uh, it's only I should I should be spamming redraw. I think. I think I can. As long as I'm playing the fruits and I'm playing Potter for the most I can, I should be able to reach an equilibrium. Invite's also really good in this deck because I have a lot of garbage. A lot of trash cards in here. There's, uh, I think the biggest point that someone made to me about Bandit, right? I'm going to continuously talk about Bandit because uh, I take the opinions that people hit me with seriously. And someone told me they think that Bandit's overpowered and he's really strong. Especially as the military leader. And as the military leader, I can see it. For sure. Because you can upgrade him and then you get more money for... Or you can use your hero power to upgrade him and then you get the bonus money. However, after the stunning defeat I took at the hands of picking Bandit and then not having a frontline, I think I'm going to hold off on picking up Bandit for the time being because I'm scared. Might as well, like, when I upgrade the Militia, I think it's fine to throw them out there. Until I remove them and the guards and then the cheeses. This deck has great population plans, it just needs money. 
There's a lot of stuff. I need to take the wall and we need to lose our gold. Because we're one away, right? If you count it up. One, two, three. Fourth wall you place down costs you all your gold. Get this out of the way as fast as we can. Might consider taking gold if there's gold in this chest. Hmm. I don't need either of these. We already have a graveyard. I don't. I don't need population. We're fine on population. I think I might. I'm just gonna take money. Actually, I have barns, so it shouldn't be that bad if I take this. Right? I should have income here. Yeah, I'm okay. Just can't redraw right now because of the lose all gold. This is an interesting one. The econom economic plan is all that's holding me back. As soon as I find a strong plan for the economy, we crush. But until that happens, we are struggling. We gotta play very slow, very careful. That's fine, right? You can't have your booming economy popping off every game. We're poised to go for tax, right? If we get a few, if we get a tax office, we're gonna go nuts. I have to keep in mind that I actually only have 34 population. I do not have uh, 40. Eventually, I'm going to remove guards and militia, and the population is going to spike down. Something that you can easily catch yourself off with. Oh. This is- wait, the- they will come back to threaten the city is good. For the general. As long- as long as you still have hunt. Overturn might be a play. I'm gonna keep taking houses. I don't want to do infinites. Even though I- I could have gone for overturn and then upgraded it off this wave, I could have gone for one of the many, many steals I've been offered. I don't want to. I want to I wanna win the game without these options because, I don't know, I don't want to force it every game, basically. Like, this done, This didn't feel like a run that I wanted to go steal on. If, if I'm offered steal and I have not many cards built into the deck, sure, I'll probably pick up a steal and we'll do something wacky with it. Because the big plus side of steal is it lets you do silly stuff like stack up an infinite number of... Uh, marches and then have a duckling rider run at mock speed through all of the enemies. Mm, I'm gonna wait. If I throw a slinger down right now, they're just gonna get killed. Should check over here, make sure we're not dead. Mm. They're dead. All the slingers are anyway. Our backline dead. That's to be expected on this wave. Oh, greedy. Talk about him in the advisor video. I put up that advisor video, by the way, after uh, two episodes, in case you've been seeing the advisors and going, man, what the hell are these characters? I don't know what these do. There's nothing really to upgrade here. I guess I upgrade fruit, but like, ugh. Maybe I'll title this series, like, no, I don't know. I've been I've been really working it through the mind, trying to figure out what I, like each. I think each episode needs to have a, a snazzy title that gets people going. Not often you see walls in your shop, like multiple walls. I want to oh colony. I need to see what this does. This is going to be interesting. I need to see how colony works. Because if the plus one tax is just you get plus one tax when you play it, that's nuts. Card's insane. If the... let's see. I think the plus one tax might mean it takes you... There's a lot of things it could mean. This is this is just the, the language barrier, right? This is developed by uh, non-American developers, so you gotta... There's gonna be some translation errors. I don't fault them for that. It's just you gotta take stuff and test it out, and I'm 100% okay with that. It's fun to test out cards and see how they work, I think. Not in this game in particular, I'm not particularly worried about everything being 100% clear, right? Like it, sure, it, it's it's whatever, I think. I don't I don't mind if oh, putting down a berserker. Just clicked it on instinct. It looks like when an ally heals, they or when an ally dies, they heal themselves. I need to start removing cards. It's time. We're gonna get rid of guards first. Actually, no, I'm gonna get rid of militia first. I have two frontliners to replace them. The big thing that I want to try to do now is I want to try and 
if possible, I want Hunt to be up when the Purificate event is walking in on me. Keep adding these. Adding these walls, I guess? I don't know. So it looks to me, let me, let me, let me look at the colony here. So when I play the colony, what does it do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I think it actually increases the amount of time between tax income. I may be wrong. I should, uh, I should have a way to quantify it other than just me counting out loud. Oh, they're hitting the wall. I'm very sorry for this auditory torture. I didn't realize they were coming on that side. I guess we'll take leader level up if there's no- Ah, uh, this is a building that gives me leader level up, or I could just pick a leader level up. Hmm. I guess the slingers also help with killing these guys off, which isn't bad. I hate this enemy. Like, I hate- I don't love this guy very much. Or these guys, I should say. We're building up our economy. Like, the- the tax is high thanks to raise tax. Ugh. The coast. I just- I see the- the dude shooting himself across in the barrel and I just- ugh. The coast. I'm gonna power ourselves up over here. Drew all four military cards, I may as well play them all. The, bon the bonus is going to be worth it. Taxes are high. We're going to continue removing. I think it might- no, I want to I wanna hold on to Hunt until the Purificate event is over. I'm going to keep playing Invite because it's really hard for me to tell if I'm uh, losing time between tax with just one. So I'm going to keep playing it, and then if I start noticing, like, oh wow, it's been like 15 seconds since I got taxed. Uh, I think I figured out what that does. I can't really tell, though. It seems like it's coming along at the same time. The same time intervals, I should say. Yeah, just, just, ugh. I think, I think on this map I should actually just be sitting one wall back all, all the time. Otherwise they're just gonna drop in, hit, hit me with the Fortnite where we drop him boys, you know? I didn't even look at this. The wall, it's way too late for mining. What does the market have? Ooh, missionary. This guy, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm gonna try him, right? I, there's a lot to try. I don't think he's going to be very good. I need to take such fierce patriotism here. The card removals have been at a very big premium. Salvage is interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try it. Maybe I might be trying too many cards at once. It's absolutely possible that I am trying to try out too many different cards at one time. However, uh, you can't stop me. We're gonna step back here. This being plus 7, plus 21 is pretty strong. I feel like salvage makes the most sense alongside the, uh, the labor plan, though. I just don't play it. I just take my hands off the keyboard for 15 seconds, and then we get a treasure chest. Interesting. Missionary seems weird. Oh, yeah, we get a treasure chest. Where? At the center? Where is it? Am I insane? Where's my treasure chest? I waited. I didn't play any cards. There it is. Yeah, this seems really good. I mean, it's hard to let 15 seconds pass without playing anything, but... I'm interested. I'm very, very interested. Now I am going to take a lot of losses here. My army, despite having a lot of population out, it's all in uh, labor right now. This boss might kill me? I'd be surprised. It's just going to be kind of annoying. The card removes are just not here. I'm just not getting them. 
I could take Rally, but I think I'm just gonna take the house. I hit R, wrong button. I mean, the, the thing about salvage is if I have to play cards, fine. But if I don't have to play cards for 15 seconds, then... Oh, my shoe market. I'm supposed to buy shoes there later. Why did it not repair? Weird. Let's still click these, right? Yeah. Definitely need to spend some money to power out a few soldiers here. Missionary is interesting. I don't know. I feel like if you stack up enough of these guys, they might become really strong. I mean, salvage seems good. I, I kind of like it. Especially since it's going to give me a way to delete cards in this cursed deck where I have no way to delete cards for some reason. Because I just can't get the card deletion. Ooh, Mortar Rat. How many new units am I going to try out? Another one? Yes, please. I'm excited. I want to see how much damage he does. New Longbow Rat? Now you have my attention. Merchant Ship? I, how many new cards can I try out? This doesn't seem particularly good here since I already- I only have five cards. I have to play this three times to get a treasure chest. I think that this only really works if you upgrade it or if you have a lot of, uh, hard draw. Oops, I bought a second slinger. That's not what I wanted to do there at all. And I hate this map because I hate having to repair buildings. I want to see what the... Mortar rat looks like for damage. Okay. Yeah, that seems pretty good. The, why is it taking so long to repair this thing? I could have definitely gotten off the salvage if I had just played it. Oh god, mortar rat hits your own units. And breaks your own buildings. Oh baby. What a fucking mess. That's terrifying. What? What's going on over here? Oh, we got run over. What's going on? Busy looking at the mortar rat killing my own units. Didn't even notice I was dead. Yeah, we lost. Maybe. Let's see if we can recover. Yeah, I don't think- I'm not sure I like Mortar Rat. In- on mass, I think this unit's insane, but... As it sits, uh, uncertain. We still got Double Slinger to throw down here. I mean, I might live, which is just disgusting. No, I'm dead. The wave stacked up. Mortar Rat has defeated me. No, it's not Mortar Rat's fault, right? The problem is there's a lot of things. Mainly, I didn't get much card removal in this one, right? I needed to remove more cards than I did. I didn't. Like, look at this deck. I have 15 cards. And I, a lot of them don't seem great. I have two Slingers, for God's sake. But I tried out a bunch of new military units, and when you try out a bunch of military units, you are uh, liable to have this sort of thing happen to you. Unless this mortar kills them all. He seems to miss way too much. Yeah, I, there's two problems with him. A, if he's shooting at moving enemies, he just misses, and B, he hits your own guys. I don't think he's great. I'll try him out more, Tur. <laughs> No, I'll try him out more to... More, oh god, I did it on accident that time. I'll try him out more when I have an established uh, build. For now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this episode here. 25 minutes, that's fine. I'm not too worried about episode length, honestly. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, drop a like. Leave me with a subscribe if you want to see more. Leave me a comment telling me how you feel about Mortar Rat. 
And yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Hope you have a great day.